name is Ashley and welcome to my channel. Today I have yet another Disney haul to share with you guys. <sighs> um, so actually today, the day that this video is being uploaded, it is my cousin's birthday. So happy birthday if you're watching. And on Wednesday, um, we actually went to downtown Disney just to kind of hang out and celebrate, um, you know, do a little bit of shopping. And of course, I have no self-control and I did pick up quite a few items that I'm going to be sharing with you guys today. So I'm really excited to show you guys everything that I picked up from downtown Disney. This is probably going to be my last Disney haul um, until I get back from Florida because I am going to Disney World next month. So I'm, you know, going to try to not buy anything else until I get to Florida because I know I'm going to be bringing back all of the souvenirs. Anyways, let's go ahead and get on into all the stuff that I just got from Downtown Disney. All right, so here is the first giant bag that we're gonna be going through. And actually pretty much everything in here is like a plush item, so you'll see why it's so big in just a minute. Um, the first thing that I picked up was actually another bag of the Peter Pan Wishables. So if you guys had watched my Peter Pan Wishable unbagging, you know I was plagued by Wendy. Pretty much the only thing I opened up was Wendy. I was lucky enough to find someone online to trade Nana for, so I now have a Peter, a Wendy, and a Nana, but I really, really wanted that boat. So I picked up another blind bag in hopes that I would get a boat, and guys, I did. Oh my gosh. The bow is so, so cute. So now I do, even though I don't have like the variants of the bow, I at least do have one of each of the characters or the little like plush options from the Peter Pan collection. And I'm so happy because I love this collection. So here is a close up of the boat. It is so cute. I love that it has like the little rosy cheeks on there as well. Super cute. Okay, so next up in the bag, I did pick up the new open edition um, Wishable for the Guardians of the Galaxy collection, and it is Rocket Raccoon. He is a really cute plushie, but to me, this doesn't actually remind me of Rocket. Like, he just looks like a little raccoon, I guess, but he is adorable. So here is a close-up of Rocket. I don't know, he just, he doesn't actually remind me of Rocket, but He's still really cute anyways. I do really like his little outfit, his little tail. These little like tufts of fur on the side of his face are super cute too. All right, and then to go along with Rocket, I got four of the um, Guardians of the Galaxy mystery bags as well, which I will be opening up in a later video for you guys. So if you like wishable and baggings, make sure you stay tuned for that one. And here's just a quick close up of the bag. So all of the Wishables are $9.99 a piece. Right now they are still doing like the Legacy Pass discount. So I was able to get like a little percentage off. I think it's like 10% that I was able to get off of those items. So pretty cool. So the next item that I got is another plushie item. And it is actually one of like my new obsessions. It is one of the new MOs. And guys, I got the Winnie the Pooh new MO. Oh my gosh, he is so cute. They also did, of course, have your Tigger and Piglet, which I do love those characters as well, but I don't I didn't love the way that the new MOs looked of those characters, so I stuck with getting just Pooh Bear because he is adorable. Alright, so here is the Winnie the Pooh new MO. He is just so Super, super cute. Of course, he has on his red shirt. So I don't know if you guys remember, like in the original Wing of the Pooh movie, when he's doing his little aerobics, like the up, down, touch the ground, um, when he bends over, he, uh, like one of his seams rips open, and then he has to kind of like uh, tie it back together real quick. So on the new MO, he actually has like that little hole that needs to be stitched up. And I just love that little detail. I think that is so, so cute. So this new MO costs $17.99, and I think that's just like the standard price for each of the little new MOs. For my new MOs, I actually end up purchasing three more outfits because I think these are all super adorable, and I think these two are brand new. I didn't see these the last time I was at Downtown Disney, so I'm really excited about these as well. So here is the first outfit. I really loved this jacket. I thought it was adorable. I like the little flannel that gets tied around the waist. I just thought that this would look super cute on, I guess probably Mickey. I'd probably, you know, dress Mickey up in this one. 
or maybe Donald, either one. But it was a really, really cute outfit. Here's the next outfit that I got. Again, I love like the little flannel that's tied around the waist. I think that's adorable. And I thought that um, this would look pretty good on Pooh Bear. So I'm gonna go ahead and dress him up in just a moment and we'll see how he rocks this outfit. And then the final new emo outfit that I got was this little Tinkerbell cosplay outfit. I just love this dress, but this backpack is so cute. So I'm probably gonna go ahead and dress Minnie up in this one so we can see all of these outfits modeled. And each of the outfits um, that I picked up were $12.99. All right guys, so here is Pooh Bear wearing the outfit. Um, I didn't kind of think about the fact that he has a short sleeve shirt on and then this was a tank top. But anyways, when you're looking at it from afar, he looks fine. I think that this is really adorable. The visor of this hat does not want to stay up. But he looks so cute in this outfit. It's hilarious though because the flannel is like literally the size of his body. But... I think he just looks adorable in this. All right guys, so next up we have Mickey modeling his new outfit. I think that this just looks so adorable. Here's the back. Yeah, he looks super cute. Alrighty, and then last but not least, here is Minnie in her little Tinkerbell outfit. I think this is so cute. I love the wings, how pretty and like iridescent they are. This dress is a beautiful green color. Like this is just so adorable. I would absolutely wear this outfit to Disneyland. So, so cute. Okay guys, so moving along, the next couple of items I bought were actually from the Wonderground Gallery. So I did end up picking up two new art prints and these ones I think are just so pretty. So if you guys know me, you know how much I love Alice in Wonderland, hence the title of my channel, the name of my channel, right? So both of these uh, paintings or these art prints are Alice in Wonderland themed and I think they are just so gorgeous. So the first one I have here is called Tea Time and on all of like the little Wonderground art prints that you get, there is like a little uh, paragraph or something about the artist. So this one says, I am not going to be able to pronounce this name correctly. Um, Yoon Jun June Kim is an animator and illustrator based in San Francisco. She originally studied graphic design but moved to California to study and pursue her dream of becoming an animator slash illustrator. After graduating, she worked at several different companies including Google and Disney Interactive Studios as an animator slash illustrator. When she's not busy working, she enjoys kickboxing, working on gallery exhibitions, attending several local art fairs, fairs, art fairs, and publishing her work in art books. Yeah, so that's pretty cool. I really love the art style that she has, and I think this is just so gorgeous. So here is the first picture that I got. I am obsessed with this. So here is the first picture that I got. I am just so completely obsessed with this. I think Alice just looks gorgeous. I love that she's got the little bread and butterflies in there, those little flowers. Alice is sitting on the teacups, and then we've got the Cheshire Cat kind of coming unraveled. Super, super cool. Okay, so I'm looking at the second art print that I got, and it actually doesn't have like that little paragraph about the artist, so I guess I was wrong. I thought all of the prints came with that little, um, you know, just that little informational thing about their artist. So. Either way, what it is what it is. But this next one is also really pretty. The art style is very different on this one than the, the previous one. But let me just show you guys what this one is. So here is the second picture that I got. I think this is beautiful. I love Alice's face. I love that like her hair is all super flowy and gorgeous. So she is surrounded by, you know, um, I think that's a field of daisies. We've got Dinah on her lap, and I love Dinah. I think that she is adorable. And we've got these really pretty butterflies just flying around. I absolutely love this picture. And uh, both of these prints were $39.99 each. All right guys, so we're down to our final little bag of the video. And if you all know me, you probably know what's in here but you guys know that no downtown Disney haul, for me at least, would be complete without a bunch of pins. So we have a bunch of Disney pins in here and I'm super excited to share these with you guys. 
So let's go ahead and get on to the pins with the backer cards first. So here's the first pin I got. This is the spring 2021 pin. I really wish I had this uh, when I was putting my pin board together, my spring pin board. Um, but I really love this pin. I think it is just beautiful. I love the fact that it has Dumbo on it because I do love the character Dumbo. He is just so cute. But what's really fun about this pin is it does have like, or Dumbo is a slider element. So you can kind of like fly back and forth over the flower field. I think that's really fun. This one is a limited edition of 3000 and it costs $19.99. Here is the next pin that I picked up. This is the Disneyland Resort um, as an annual pass holder pin. So if you have a legacy pass, then you can still purchase pins like this. Um, so this one is really cute. It's got Mickey eating a churro and Mickey is a pin on pin element. Um, and it looks to me like he's, yeah, he's in front of the small world. So he's at the small world churro stand. And this one is also a limited edition of 3000 and it costs $19.99 as well. So the next two pins I have are from this um, Where Fantasy Grows, the Terrarium series. And again, I wish I had these in time for my spring pin board, but you know, it's fine, it is what it is. So this one is featuring Flit, and I believe this was um, March's pin. So I really love um, like how like the actual pin itself has this giant like 3D case. And then on the inside, you can see the character and then some cute little like greenery. So again, this one does feature Flit. Um, these are a limited edition of 4,000 and they also cost $19.99. And then from that same series, we have April's, I believe this would be April's pin and this one is featuring Tinkerbell. I love that sassy little pose of her just sitting on top of the flower. Like, yes, go girl. And then again, it has like that 3D, um, like terrarium glass element, which I'm really loving. I'm really, really loving this collection. So I can't wait to see what other characters they release for this one. So the next pin I got is of Grogu. He is just super cute. And then he is like a rubberized element which is a little bit different than the other pins that I have to share today, but he is adorable. And then he was a yellow price tag, which I believe is $12.99. Next, I got this Chewbacca pin from the Her Universe collection. I love his little face on here. It says free hugs because Chewie gives the best hugs. And um, this pin was $15.99. Again, from the Her Universe series, we have this adorable Ewok pin that says, Save the Trees. I love the Ewoks. I think they're adorable. Like, yes, I would let them braid my hair all day, every day. <laughs> and this one was also $15.99. And then the final, like, pin with a backer card that I have today is this pin of the Mandalorian, and it says, Legendary Warrior, This is the Way. I love this pin. I love the Mandalorian. I think that this is so, so cool. And then this one is a silver price tag. So again, I believe that is also $12.99. All right, so finally for my pins, I did pick up two of these mystery boxes. Um, so to me, they kind of look like like posters to try to recruit people to join into the Stormtroopers. I thought that this was just such a cool like concept. I love all of these pins. Um, so. I just thought that these boxes were, were really, really cool. So to end out this video, we're gonna go ahead and open up these mystery boxes. So I did pick up two boxes of these, um, like Enlist, I guess I'm gonna call them the Enlist collection. And you get two pins in each box. So I'm really hoping for no doubles, but we'll see what happens. And they do come in the little black blind bags. So I think I'm just gonna come up to the camera and open these with you guys. Okay, so here's the first bag. Let's see which one it is. Ooh, this one is cool. I really like the way that these look. I may have to get more of these boxes. So yeah, these definitely are like little like recruitment posters for the, um, the stormtroopers. So at the top it says, do all that you can, first order, and it has the at-ats on there, or the AT-ATs. I love those things, they are so cool. Um, enlist today, we have a place for you. I think this is so fun, I love this collection. All right, so here's the second pin from that box. Let's see what else we got. <gasps> Ooh, this is so cool. It says, defend the galaxy. And this one was actually the one that I really, really wanted. I love the, um, 
the TIE Fighters. I think that they look so cool. And this is, I love this pin. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy with these. Okay, second box, here we go. Just really hoping for no doubles. Alrighty. First bag, I've already opened it, I'm too excited. Please, no doubles. Oh no, okay, but that's okay because these are really, really cool pins, so I hope that they make really nice traders. Like, these are so cool. We got another one of those Enlist Today pins. And then here is the final pin for today. Oh yay, it's a different one, okay, good. This looks awesome, what does it say? This one is so awesome, and then at the bottom it says, join the 709th Legion. That is really cool. I love this collection. All right guys, so that was actually everything that I purchased from Downtown Disney. Um, let me know in the comments down below if we are twins on anything or what your favorite item of the video is. Also, if you guys have bought any of these, um, these Star Wars like recruitment poster pins and you wanna trade this for this one, um, definitely let me know because I really love this set. I'll take any of the ones I didn't already get. So, yeah. But that was really, really fun. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did and you'd like to see more hauls from me in the future, don't forget to give this a big thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please consider hitting that subscribe button. I would love to have you a part of this little Disney YouTube family here. Anyways, thank you all so, so much for watching. I hope you're having a magical day, and I'll talk to you all next time. Bye!